Hello and welcome. It is first date, which means it's review day, and we're going through each of the factions of Wild West Exodus. And today is the turn of the Watchers, and this one is Magenta Alpha. I really do like this model. This is another lovely model. I mean, the paint job is. It's kind of hard to do a decent paint job when it's just black. And it has that sort of mix between aliens, you know, the xenomorph and Eve from Species. It's very Geiger-esque. I think it looks pretty cool. I do like the look of this model. It's a nice looking model, you know. And you've got the massive claws here. And she's rearing back. Again, this adds a lot of fluidity to the model. It does. It looks like she is literally just about to disembowel someone here and she is just going nuts. The face is very expressive for a little bit of play which is actually kind of fitting for a watcher. It makes them, it puts them in that uncanny valley situation where it doesn't look quite human but looks human enough. And then you've got these lovely cool dreadlocks. These look amazing. These are a nice look attached to them. I love how the feet are as well because if we go back here, from this position, they kind of look like, you know, those high hills, like, uh, well, platforms, from this position, but all of a sudden, you can see that she's balancing on her um, back of her foot there, on both of them, gives it that very inhuman look, uh, you know, she's not walking flat footed is what I mean, so, yeah, this is a really nice looking model, I like all the little details, and I like the fact it's kind of dulled back again you've got the little bits of detail here and here so you know all the scaling and the bridge plates and you know the stuff like this is really cool because it looks quite like cyborg organic not cyborg but not truly really, like organic it's like this nice mix between the two like i said it's about very much like xenomorphs from alien series they are they look part metal and part you know organic and this one really does pull it off. I think she has a lovely pose. She really does. This is a gorgeous pose. It's an attacking pose. I'm, like I said, they do so well on these. But I think the paint job is a bit lacking on this one, to be honest with you. Because I know for a fact that this is really well detailed stuff. They are very good at their detail. I love how, like, this is another good one. See how the um, plates here and it's got the spine here. See how they're overlapping. That's a nice little detail. There's like a nice little gap there and there. So it looks like there would actually be movement underneath it. And, you know, about how it would breathe. You can kind of imagine how they would separate and close again. And I think this is such a lovely model. I do. It's really cool. The only thing... This is probably a model for more advanced builders. I'm not being patronising here, by the way. I'm being straight up and honest. And the reason for that is, is this tail here comes straight. As far as I know. I've seen a couple models and it always seems to come straight. Which means you have to use hot water to bend it into position. Being a resin model. I hope it is a resin model. Because I'm pretty sure this is one of the resin ones. Uh, yep. Resin. And I've got to say. And that's the other thing. Like that's. You might get this base. I think this base is included. But this bit and these grasses and it aren't. But this is such a nice looking model. It really really does show off an, a, an alien, an alien species. This is not even anything that would be on Earth. It looks so different from everything else. I love how the horns are both pointed downwards. And they look kind of like, um, not quite horns. I'm just trying to think what they are. But I do like them. They look, it looks alien. It doesn't look... Like it belongs on Earth at all, which really fits the theme of the watches. And this is a lovely model, and I think she's worth it for £19. Again, quite a cheap model. She's a quite sizable, about the same, so I would say a little bit bigger than Walks Learning King, and she's quite a bit big too. Here's the rule sheet, as always, we always go through this. Uh, you have Magenta Alpha, she is a commander, watches Magenta Clade and an Alpha, which makes her a big boss. Pretty quick, with a quickness of six. Uh, Aim of 5, which is 5+, plus, isn't too bad given the fact that she really doesn't have any ranged combat. You've got a spike tail, which has a range of 1, but honestly, it's better in melee. And a fight of 8, that's fantastic. Hitting on 2s. 
Lovely, lovely. Really cool. And Fortune of Three, pretty badass. The Bladed Gauntlets have a rate of attack of 2 and the Spike Tail of 1, so it's 3 attacks. At straight, I mean, that's just going to do lots of damage. And a minus 1 piercing, so it's not too bad. Mine's pretty strong as well, so pretty good. Now, the rules of this. You have a Quick Strike rule once per activation. If this unit is successfully, if this unit successfully hits with a Strike action, it may to make a second strike action at the same or different target unit for one action point rather than the usual two on repeated action. That's pretty good actually. That's a nice one. I'll give I like that. Uh, we have backstab reactions against this suffer a minus four penalty. That's nasty. That is really, really horrible. I gotta say, that is just not right. Minus four to hit. That brings her down to a let's put minus four, puts it down to a six plus. So it's forty percent chance if it like if she was to do it or someone the same rule, that would be a you've got six uh, forty percent chance of hitting still. Just not too bad. Ball rush we've spoken up before. Bounding strike. This is always a good one. If a unit wounds an enemy model with a strike action, this unit may be plus up to half its quickness value, which is actually quite big for this one being six. So that's three inches value from its current position so it can jump back a fair distance this is really a nice model 19 points so this is pretty much a must have for your watches low points cost low price nice looking model and yeah you got a nice lot of decent rules here let's have a look enemy units cannot nominate this unit as an additional target unless the enemy successfully passes a mind check this this model passes quick checks for climbing and jumping automatically and may we roll failed grift checks from falling. So if she falls and fails your, your you don't get your five plus, you get to roll again. So that's pretty good. This is actually quite a beastly model. It's really nice. It's a nice I wouldn't say it's too powerful, it's got some nice rules. I mean with a fight of hitting on two pluses, it's got a fifty percent chance of uh, you know surviving at attacks. It's got a decent... The piercing is quite low for such a big model. But it's a nice all-rounder at 19 points. This is... Uh, this is a must-include for most of your arm, if you're doing watches. She's a lovely model, and I've got to say, I really like it. Anyway, if you wish to save money on your Warhammer, or even if you want to purchase this model, as you can see, we've got 10 in stock. And I like going to these guys because, you know, this is where they have the clearer pictures. 10 in stock, and it's £19. So you... You know, you have to buy something else you want. You don't want to pay for delivery, unfortunately. So free delivery after twenty pound. Next, uh, it, I'll go for Wayland Games down below. Next is Forbidden Planet for comics, DVDs, mangas, all that cool geeky stuff and merchandise. Talking of merchandise, there's mine as well. T-shirts, notebooks, travel cups, all my artwork, all my designs, and my comic which I wrote and draw my drew myself. Uh, that was no digital work on that at all. That was all. By my dear little hands. And finally, uh, Skyforge. Go ahead and give that guy a click. He's a good friend of mine. And finally, Patreon because business. Bye bye.